Hey, what is going on guys? Bailey here and welcome back to another Saints Row video and I hope you're all having a fantastic day. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to unlock the punching guns, also known as the Pugnus Sanctus D. Now I will be showing you how to get these very easily. Now to unlock this weapon, you will need to complete two specific hidden history discoveries. The first one you want to head towards and complete is the one located on the map here, which is in East Providentia. Once you get here, you will need to explore the hidden history in St. Thomas Covaccio. There will be five history panels you will need to find to complete this hidden history discovery. For assistance with finding these five history panels, follow my on-screen gameplay. Did you know? Padre and Salmo Salazar built the Church of St. Thomas of Keep it moving. Squeeze. Oh, hell no. Did you know? In 1593. So once you have completed the hidden history in St. Thomas Covaccio, you will need to complete the second hidden history discovery, which is located in Old Town West, which you can see from my map here. When you get here, you will need to explore the hidden history in Mika Square. Again, there will be five history panels, as there always is, that you will need to find to complete this hidden history discovery. For assistance with discovering these five hidden panels, follow my on-screen gameplay. Did you know? Meeker Square is named for Lieutenant Jedediah Meeker. I hope the Saints make things better. Did you know? Meeker was saved by a Spanish priest who died in the 16th. They really steal all those things I've heard about. Did you know the story of Jedediah Meeker inspired novels? Nothing is unstealable for them. Congratulations. Would you have completed the second hidden history in Meeker Square? You will have unlocked the punching guns, also known as the Pugnus Sanctus D. You can equip the punching guns from your nearest friendly fire or weapon cash from your Saint HQ. These punching guns can be found under the category melee weapons. Now these punching guns are fantastic and hilarious to use. This melee weapon allows you to dual wheel both punching guns, so you don't need the dual wheel perk to be able to do this, which I think is actually quite good. However, these punching guns pack a lot of damage and are one of the best melee weapons in the entire game because of the damage, as I've just said, and also the range in which you can fire these are. Also, these punching guns require no ammunition whatsoever, so you can fire them for however long you want. Now, the signature ability for this weapon is called the Double Fist, which unleashes a shockwave when both fists punch at the same time, but there is a cooldown to this. To unlock this signature ability, you will need to punch enemies with this weapon 500 times, which does sound like quite a lot, but with these weapons, it'll be a ton of fun and it'll be really quick to do. Like with all other weapons in this game, you can customize the color of the punching guns, so you can change the color of any part of this weapon. So what do you think of the punching guns? Let me know in the comment section down below. 
I'd like to hear your thoughts. So that's all I have to show you in today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please leave a like. Also, if you do enjoy content like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and click on the bell icon to turn on notifications so you don't miss my next upload. If you want to continue discussing Centro with other people who enjoy this game just as much, be sure to join my Discord community where there is a link in the description to join. Also, don't forget that you can check me out streaming over on Twitch during the week and you can find a link to my channel in the description box down below too. Be sure to drop by and get involved. Thanks again for watching, take it easy and I'll catch you next time.